Hi, this is Chef Inspire. I'm here today to talk to you about moving from the state of health care to the state of self-care. I'm going to use eight points to prove my point. I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think is the leading cause of death in the United States and abroad? What is the leading cause of death? Some people say cancer. Some people say uh, high, uh, you know, diabetes, or high blood pressure. But the leading cause of death is actually medical treatment. You heard me, medical treatment. The medicines and the side effects of these medicines that they give us on a regular basis to try to heal the things that are going wrong in our body. A couple of years ago, I went to the doctor and I asked him, I said, you know, I have gas. So, I mean, and it's bad. Sometimes it gets bad, you know, and I, I, I want to get rid of it. He said, okay, take this pill, this little pill, and your gas will be gone. Then I actually went to the pharmacy and, and got the prescription. And when I looked at it, there was a long list of side effects of this medication. But the number one side effect of this medication is it will cause you to go blind. All right, I won't be passing gas no more, but I'll be blind. So I choose not to take that medication. I choose not to take it because I understand that the side effects of the medication is more, more uh, damaging than the actual sickness or the actual ailment that I had went to the doctor for. So we have to learn, start to learn how to use self-care, preventative care. And let me give you these points. Point number one, we can heal ourselves. That's true, we can heal ourselves. A couple of years ago, I was wearing reading glasses. But then I started to meditate and I, med I started to meditate on healing and on, on making my body whole again. And what I started to notice is as I started to meditate on healing, meditate on my body becoming whole, all of a sudden my need for reading glasses diminished. Now I am at 20-20 vision. I don't need reading glasses to read anything anymore. So my eyes actually regenerated and become, became stronger. Our body has the ability to do this. Point number two. There was a man called Jeremy Kelp. Look it up. Jeremy Kelp. He actually grew, had his finger cut off. And he actually grew his finger back. Is that deep or what? Our body has the ability to regenerate itself. If we believe this. Now, this is the key. The key is according to what you believe will happen to you. He actually grew his finger back. Google it. Don't just take my word for it. Point number four. In the year... 1890 there was only seven diseases and only 12 medicines and all of these medicines came from plant products they were all natural number five right now in 2018 there is over 10,000 diseases and over 50,000 pharmaceutical medications and, and hundreds of more, more of them are being brought to the market every single day. What happened? Within a certain amount of time, within a short amount of time, we have created a healthcare system, a pharmaceutical system that caters to those people in big pharma, those people who push drugs onto the people. 
And guess what? Drugs do not cure the ailment. They only help with the symptoms. Listen to that again. In 1890, there was only seven diseases on the record books, on the medical record books. Only 12 medicines and all of them were plant-based. Now, there is 10,000 different diseases and 50,000 different medications. Something's wrong there. Point number six. Fighting disease has made more money for the pharmaceutical companies and killed so many people. Diseases, fighting diseases, our body has the ability to fight them off. Our body has the ability, our immune system, if you give it the right fuel, it can fight off any disease. Now, eight out of 10 people I'm sorry, one out of eight people get cancer. One out of eight now. Now, why is that rate so high? One out of eight. Did you know that one of the richest companies in the world is the, is the Cancer Society? The Cancer Society. The American Cancer Society is one of the richest because they're always talking about a cure for cancer. But there's always there's been a cure for cancer for the longest. The cure for cancer is eat food that that's oxidized, that put oxygen in your body. Eat plant-based foods, get a good amount of exercise, and get your body on a regular um, discharge. Because if you start to do this, cancer cannot fester in a body that's full in an oxidized body it cannot fester in a body also that is high in acidity so when we start to put our bodies in the right position our bodies have the ability a cure for cancer and we do not need drugs number eight these are what they call the bread and butter diseases now listen to this, bread and butter diseases. These are the diseases that the doctors use to pay their, their uh, office, pay for their practice, pay for all of the bare necessities that, that they have in their offices. The bread and butter diseases. These are the ones that they consistently give medication for and consistently have people come back to treat. Diabetes heart disease, high blood pressure. And the reason why these diseases are so prevalent and so uh, rampant in our society is back in the day what they did was, say for instance, a normal blood pressure is to uh, 120 over 80. That's a normal blood pressure. That's what they tell you it is. But the, in, in all actuality, a normal blood pressure may be 10 points higher or 10 points lower. The thing is, is they move the scale to sell more medicine. They move the scale of, of cholesterol to sell more medicine. They tell you that your cholesterol is high and they give you more medicine to bring it lower. But in all actuality, the true scale of the cholesterol may be 10, 15, or even 20 points higher. So a person that would be considered with high cholesterol in all actuality, is this is not true. But they tell you this to sell you medicine, to give you medicine, to create a state of disease in our bodies. So this is Chef Inspire. I am employing you to move from the state of health care to the state of self-care. Start to take care of yourself. 
start to do things that are going to help your body to rejuvenate itself because our body has the ability to do it. We just need to give it the fuel, the ammunition, and also the mental oneness to cause this state of healing to take place in our bodies. This is Chef Inspire. I hope you get this. I hope you got this. Because if so, guess what? Your life will be good. You get it? Got it? Good. Have a blessed day.